well brace yourself, because our VIP wants to meet you. VIP? The American Peace Envoy. Oh, that's him over there. Who are those people that he can meet you with? That's his special bodyguard squad. You know, they carry more hardware than Harry. Oh, we better go. We can't keep waiting. Hey, come on. Excuse me, sir. Miss Crystal. Ah, my dear. I'm an old friend of your father's. Just wanted to wish you good luck on your mother's day, dear. Thank you, sir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, direct from her sensational European tour, and tonight making her London debut, number 10 is proud to welcome the fabulous Crystal! <laughs> Please hurry, it's urgent, we've been attacked! The American 
I know you're a growing man, but do try and control your hormones. She followed me in here. That's exactly what I'm complaining about. Get rid of her. This place. It's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. That's because the TARDIS is dimensionally transcendental. Well, what does that mean? It means it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse us, young lady, Jason. Now, listen to me. No, you listen to me. We are engaged on a mission that involves the safety of your planet. And there's no time for explanations or apologies or anything. Now, you please leave. Are you her him? Out. Why, you? Oh! Well, you've done it now. What have I done? <laughs> you set the TARDIS in motion. We are on our way, and like it or not, Miss, you are coming with us.
Now that's anything for scarecrows, isn't it, sir? Who else are you looking at? Ah, maybe something like this. What do you think of that, eh? <laughs> Who? No, no, I don't think so. Do you know, I used to have the most appalling test. <laughs> ah, no. Something a little more dynamic, I think. There, what about that? Oh, oh yes, yeah. definitely you, Doctor. Oh, oh, right. Oh, no, please. Oh, you can stay here. You've been perfectly safe. Oh, just a minute. Can't you take me home? Eventually, yes. Immediately, no. Then they've got three birds and every doctor. Who knows? The bar may have a doctor's finish. No. The biological are is dangerous enough without taking any experience young girl is all the girls. Come on, Jess.
do that if your mummy was watching, would you? <laughs> no. You're right, my friend. Oh, you see that one? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that's the one. Well, that's why I'm that. I'm not. But you mean. 
cybermen, but you behind it all. Doctor, what are these things? The most evil, ruthless, destructive creatures in the cosmos. Beings without scruple, without mercy, without pity. Motivated only by the desire of our conquest and the lust for power. The Daleks. Don't be the battle push, Doctor. Tell us what you really think of. Silence! Doctor, you are the Daleks' greatest enemy. I call, I am proud to acknowledge. You have constantly interfered with our plans to conquer the universe. Yes, I have. And I shall do so again whenever I can. Now you are our prisoner. Your interference is at an end.
The doctor has escaped! Uh, oh, darling, patrols, the doctor is to be found and brought to Scarborough alive. You so don't blame me, I've got some other delilahs for you, not mine, for the escapes afterwards. The doctor must be found without delay, he must be recaptured. What makes the doctor have such a hard time with his own doctor? Oh, the doctor is the one who has to be found and brought to Scarborough alive. Oh, darling, patrols, the doctor is to be found and brought to Scarborough alive. When a peace conference is endangered, we'll find the doctor eventually. What's the rush? The doctor must be recaptured. Find him, find him, find him.
What is that old woman? What is that? Me. I bet they're all just sleeping it off. Yes, oh. Ah. You come back to me, Doc. 
I thought it was time to continue our rudely interrupted conversation. And you're here at Tuttlegar. I suppose you want your old job back. Oh, that's a mistake. You must forgive me, Madame Delilah. It appears that Zog has abandoned your service for mine. Oh, you never make a mercenary out of Zog.
doctor's vehicle and taken the doctor and his companions prisoner. The doctor is to be taken to the Emperor. Follow me. No! You will obey the doctor! I am obeying! Obey the Emperor! New orders have been issued. The doctor is an extremely dangerous prisoner. He's been taken at once to the high security area. Obey your orders! Oh, that's what I'm trying!
Yes, you won't try to show us. Yeah. Why is it safe? Some sort of storage area. Even Dalek seems to fly.
done all of you. Quickly, back to the time for the Dalek Spider. Doctor! Oh, it's all right, Carl. We don't need you. We made it. I'm afraid I didn't. What do you mean? I'm afraid I know. The Daleks caught me. They made me an offer. A million credit bounty for taking you alive. For my extermination if I did. Do you know how it is? Yeah. Business is business. Now you're just a mercenary after all, eh, Carl? What moment, sir? I thought you might be something more. Here we go, Doctor. I would understand. 
understand his plan eventually. At the last moment, he said, it's almost as if I'm part of it. How could you be part of the Dalek's plan? When all you've done is bring the envoys back to Downing Street and find the culprit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that is a... Yes. Yes! That is exactly what I have done and exactly what the Daleks wanted me to do. Hello. I'm an agent message to make an envoy. Yes, from the Prime Minister. He's to return to her office immediately. Thank you. Doctor, I still don't understand. Why would the Daleks want you to be part of their plan? Okay, well, I haven't got time to explain that, but if I'm right, you will understand in a moment or so. Ah, you. Mr. Envoy, sir. I understood the Prime Minister wanted to see me. Oh, yes, she does, but she's not here at the moment. Unavoidably detained. I'd like to work with you myself, first. Well, I'm more than grateful for what it done to me, Doctor. Yes, yes, my yes. time is very limited. Oh, surely. I must destroy the human enemies of the Daleks. How will this be achieved? I will detonate this device as the peace conference begins. That's a Dalekinium neutron bomb. Powerful enough to destroy most of Southeast England. What is the final stage of your plan? Forged evidence has been planted. Each world power will blame the others. Glasnost will end and war will begin. The Daleks will invade and rule when the war is over. I must set the timing device. Doc, your orders have been cancelled. I repeat, cancelled. Give me the bomb. Obey the Daleks or you will be exterminated. <laughs> Timing device. Well, can you switch it off? Well, no, that detonated it. The time is too delicate, and we've only got 25 seconds. The only thing that will defuse it is a high temperature solution of tannic acid in H2O. But what are we going to find that in less than 10 seconds? Right, that's it. Ah! Right here, in a good, strong pot of tea.
well. Yes. He reckoned the American envoy made a speech of his love. Well, once the strain of carrying out his mission was removed, it wasn't too hard to remove the rest of the Dalek brainwashing as well. And do you know, I may have even added a little extra confidence. Well, after all, <laughs> I do have plenty to spare. Eh? <laughs> Goodbye, my dear. Nice knowing you. Must go now. Plan is to visit. Pops to me. Bye bye. Come on, Jason. Come with us, please. Look, Jess. I like you very much. I really do. But I'm home now. I'm going to get on with my life. There's a whole world out there that we didn't discover together. My darlings, the cyclists, the murderous mercenaries. No, no, they're not back and forth in time. You can't be sent to the dark shop. Please put your hands together and welcome back the fabulous Crystal! Yeah.